control your live show. Hey, oh, my name is Megan Trollio. People say Troglio, so they call me Trogs. I'm an internet artist, and this is my live show, season four, episode four. Today, we're talking all about balance, which is a state of equilibrium in which opposing forces or influences are balanced. So today's episode is the heart of life itself. What so many forget about as they rush from day to day, it is important to take time for yourself so you may find balance. Stick around, y'all. How can it be that these rocks can stand without adhesive, wire, support, any other contraption which would help maintain it, somehow the energy is distributed and the group balances. If one were to be off, if a sudden force came knocking, could this still stand? Even if it falls, you are then presented with the unique opportunity to rebuild. Or you can take in that frustration and walk away because your supposed masterpiece has disappeared, yet still... The best artists know practice and perseverance will bring better products. It may take a few ingredients such as patience and time. With intention, rocks will still rise. Yo, so every week on the show we have a dog of the week and this week is the famous TikToker. Can I get an hour hour for Pudgy? Uh, he's the light of my life. Ow, ow, he's hilarious. Ow, ow, what a dog. The dog of the week, everybody. Pudgy. <laughs> Pudgy, what you think about your new uh. outfits? Ow, 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 Okay, so this week's segment is, is, uh, about balance, so I just wanted to see how many books we could stack on top of my head before they fall. Uh, you know, uh, princesses used to walk around so they could get posture, right? Uh, I'm doing this, you know, just to test my own skill. Aren't, ain't that the truth? I will not be standing uh, because, first off, they're already falling. Should I even be touching it? Second off, that's a little hard. Uh, I think it's entertaining enough, you know, really just to be out here trying. And I think that's all about what balance is. Trying your best. Um, and if you fall, you know, remember you can always, you know, get back up and try again. If you really want to practice, really become that princess, really become that inner aligned type of person, then keep practicing, y'all. That's all I gotta say. That's all I can do. Uh, ooh, hey, so, wubba lubba cubba tubu dubba subby crubbit clubba mubby tubby mubby nubby mubbies mubby go in trouble lubby yubbo dubba subbies dubba subby crubbit club of ubbies yubbo wubba on two jubboy dubba subby crubbit club of gubbo to mubby go in trouble lubby yubbo dubba cubbum slubbash subby crubbit club of dubba pabbas wubbard is password. Now that we have found balance in mass, can we bring that energy inward to the body? Can you feel the center of your being from where your light radiates? How does this energy feel? Or are you so quick to stamp out any spark from your soul? In today's world, we are fed information and programming so quickly it is easy to get lost, yet still. You have the capability to pause, ground yourself, and breathe. To feel gratitude and shake off the blues to find balance within yourself, for yourself. Welcome to the desk segment. No, I do not have a desk yet, but we're manifesting. Think 10 years from now when I'm sitting at a nice desk on a big TV show, the production value's gonna be out the house. But today, we're focusing on three different little, three different little news things you might not have known, okay? So, Michigan's Natalie Wojcik W-O-J-C-I-K. She is a gymnast, and she scores a perfect 10. A perfect 10. No mistakes. This is the first time it's been done since 1997, and she did that. She got a perfect 10 on the balance beam. What? I... Let's watch it. Let's watch the tape. 
Let's watch it. Let's see what she did. Douglasville, Pennsylvania, 2019 national champion on the beam. Career high 9975, two time Big Ten champ in this event. This routine is just so beautiful. There's nothing to say but watch and enjoy. Congratulations, Natalie. That was awesome. So, moving on, though, here we are. We're talking about balance on today's episode. Probably three years ago, I was like, hmm, maybe I should go for balance in my life instead of, like, really just trying to do the most, you know? So, I came across this little, these little pictorials that really, like, broke down the concept of balance for me, balance across, like, my state of being really so this little gray dot here we'll start with that it's like when you first pop into the world and you're like what's going on I don't know you just kind of have like this like state of existence you know um so then as you grow up you develop you are programmed you learn you mimic you whatever you do however you learn you, you develop like intelligence and knowledge and you're like oh there's some things out here that I've been taught and it's like crazy so then you have like two concepts of like what you know and what you learn and, and and you have intelligence now okay but then let's let's take this concept a bit further um basically if you have that knowledge on the inside right knowledge of yourself knowledge of your place in the world awareness of how you kind of fit in the world you have your inner reality what goes on to you and then you from your inner reality your thoughts and your feelings and your experiences can then be portrayed through your body okay and your body you can't experience the outside unless it goes through your body, through your senses, all that kind of wiggly wangly stuff, and then you perceive it in your inner reality. So that's why it's really important to take care of your body and be like grateful for this little vessel to be walking around in because that vessel is in the outer reality. So like what can you control in this life? You can control your inner reality, you can control your body, you can't necessarily always control your outer reality. Though. You can put yourself up, you can know internally that like, ooh, I feel uncomfy in my outer reality, I should move my body to get myself the heck out of here. And that's how you like piece together this knowledge um, to really set you up for success. So really listen to your inner voice, listen to your inner reality. We're not just a body, we're not just like a meat soup flying around, like we are consciousness in a place for a reason, but you have autonomy, you have choice, you can exist and think and learn new things um and this and this knowledge is always developing like you there's a lot that i don't know there's even more that i don't even know i don't know so that's why it's always really important to like learn and and be a you know a little scientist be a little discoverer really care about the world you are in so this symbol comes up in a lot of my artwork um i love the concept so if you ever see my art in the future that's kind of where it came from yay uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. The New Balance, okay, released this shoe. The, the article said they were leaning into the dad shoe fad. When I have to say, I've been, I've been on that kick for a while. I like a good chunky sneaker. I wouldn't mind it. These though are $140. Money's a concept. $140 for a pair of shoes. What? They ain't even like high heel fancy designer shoes. They're some New Balance dad shoes. Go to the Goodwill. That's all I got to say about that. Anyway, keep rocking your kicks. Believe in yourself. Bam. Um, moving on. As always, we got merch for sale. Stickers, papers, prints, canvas. I'll paint a mural. I will. I, shit, I got lots of stuff out there. 
MeganTrulia.com. Let me know merch for sale. I love you. <laughs> I've asked myself for balance for a long time now. I have denied, lied, pushed away, and refused to admit that simple experiences of existence are enough. It has felt like a curse to breathe, see, sleep, even feel, because our society would rather have us do anything but. For those of you who feel this, you are not alone. You are a glitch in the matrix sent at this time to help others see in the way you perceive. And for now, you may feel alone because there is so much darkness. Yet still, you are the beacon of light. So as you look into an abyss, a void, anyone or thing looking towards you would see a vision of light. So please keep shining, because you are so important in this world. There is bad, there is good. There is bad in the good, and there is good in the bad. This is life. <laughs> Chaos and order perfectly synchronized, so we may all find balance. Bam! That's the episode. What could I say that hasn't been said? Take care of yourself. And if you are able to take care of yourself, take care of each other. Love yourself. Accept yourself. If things aren't always going to go as planned or how you expected, but, you know, you have the power to get back up again and try again. And I believe in you. If you're watching this whenever you're watching this, past, present, future, I love you. I am proud of you for making it awake. Awake today. You made it another day. And that's all you can ask for. Um, take time for yourself and patience. That's really the lesson. Patience and taking time for yourself is, is the real big lesson that I would want to leave you guys with today. It's still what I'm working to learn in a world that pushes us to be so connected, so moving, so fast, 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 fast. Like, take time for yourself care for yourself, to accept yourself, and, you know, just to be alive. Those tiny little moments of existence that we really take for granted. If you're having a bad day, if you're having a good day, um, I'm grateful that you were able to spend a couple moments with me. So, all right, I'll catch y'all soon, MeganTrolio.com. We'll come back next week, episode five. Y'all know the deal. Ayo. <laughs> Peace out, Girl Scouts. In a while, crocodiles.